Building sexual tension is half the fun of an encounter. First, learn how to build sexual tension with a girl. Until you're both at bursting point. Sexual tension is a sexy thing, and learning to build sexual tension with a girl slowly to the point of no control. Well, that's just the wildest feeling ever. It can make you feel good about yourself, can make life so much more exciting, and can give you something to look forward to every day. Have you ever experienced sexual tension with a colleague at work? Then you'd know just how exciting it feels to drive to work every morning. Here are step how to build massive sexual tension with a woman. Now, let's begin. Number 1. Complimenting her on her physical beauty. Easy to do and very effective when done well. To create strong sexual tension, you're going to highlight that something might happen between you and her. This way, she sees you as a potential lover, not potential best friend. Creating sexual tension with eye contact, the simplest way to do so is to express your sexual desire to her. For this, complimenting her body can be very effective. Here are some examples. You have beautiful legs. You have very sexy lips. You have a sensitive neck. I find you very sexy. You can also pay her a compliment on something she's wearing. For example, I like your skirt, it looks very sexy on you. I like your shirt, it looks so sexy on you. Such compliments are very effective ways to build sexual tension with women. Number 2. Touching her. Physical contact is a powerful weapon to turn women on. There is a reason for that. When you touch a woman, she will turn into a horn. Just like she did in the pre-show. Creating sexual tension with the opposite sex, there are different ways to touch a woman to create sexual tension. You can touch her while complimenting her, it depends on the compliment, if you compliment her skin. You can touch her skin, if you compliment her dress, you can touch her dress sustainably. She sits you can touch her when invited to be, you hold her hand or wrap your arm around her, etc. Number 3. Dwelling on her lips. Lips are a sexual part of the face. Lips are used for kissing, licking, breathing, expressing pleasure, etc. Building sexual desire for long-term relationships, a few seconds on the lips of the girl you are talking to is a very effective way to introduce the idea of sex into her mind. It can give her the impression that you accidentally dwelled on her lips. As if you were distracted. Or you can do it deliberately by complimenting her on the lips. That way, you combine two powerful techniques, complimenting the look of her lips and her physical beauty. Number 4. Prolonged goodbyes. Whenever you are about to say goodbye, make her feel that you don't want to say goodbye at all. Do not do this when other people are around. Sexual tension should always be a well-kept secret. Every time you have to say goodbye to her, hug her, but a second later than usual. Delay the goodbye with idle talk or look deeply into her eyes as if you want to say something. But keep the thought on hold. It will take sexual tension to a new high. Number 5. Dancing with her. Remember what I said about touching her. Dancing means constant physical contact between you and the girl. But there's more when dancing with her. You can give her a sustained look that will make her English, more on that below. You can physically pull her to you. You can physically push her back, and so on. Dance is made for sexual stimulation. There is an overall dynamic that allows you to create and maintain high sexual tension. Number 6. Sneaky Eye Contact Make frequent eye contact, but don't be clear about it. Look at this friend you like, but just as she looks back at you, look away. When you're trying to build sexual tension, it's all about discretion. Even if you are caught looking at this girl, smile and look away in a second. When you make someone wonder if you've really been looking at them, you make them think about you and wonder if you have more than friends in mind. Number 7. Position yourself closer to her. If you just met and you're standing a foot away from her head, it feels intimidating. But if you position yourself diagonally to her, you can get close without it feeling overwhelming. Make a move to a girl's side within the first few minutes of introducing yourself. You can almost stand shoulder to shoulder and face each other at an angle. A table with booth seats or chairs can be pulled to her side rather than across. Walk by a girl, and when you sit together in a park on the couch at home, sit right next to her. Don't leave an awkward six-foot gap. Number 8. Take your time for the kiss. The first kiss is the powerful moment when you both act on your desires. It is the culmination of a great film you have created together. Women want that first time to be special and memorable. Giving her that final dramatic buildup early makes the payoff even better. Most guys are so nervous that they go from looking at a girl to kissing her in a split second, killing all that precious tension. 
Instead, stop whatever you're doing. Finish your sentence, pause, and look deeply into her eyes. Slowly step towards her or move your hand or arm closer to her back. Hold it for a second and then move closer. It's she's ready to kiss, that last moment before you hug is hot. She feels you are taking things forward with confidence and starts to get excited thinking about what it will be like. T hen kiss her. Don't give her a peck, enjoy a solid kiss for a few seconds. Gently pull away and return to whatever you were doing or talking about. Number 9. Declaring that you're not hitting on her. This is a really fun way to build sexual tension, and this is very easy to do. This technique consists of emphasizing that you are not hitting her. Basically, before you compliment her, you're going to say this, I'm not bashing you, but I find your outfit really sexy. Then you can add something else, like say a few minutes later, Oak, okay, I may be bashing you a bit, but I have to say that your shoes look very sexy. When you insist that you're not hitting on her with anticipation, even if you are, put the picture of your relationship right in her head. Picture you hitting her. Emphasizes that you're a man who can hit on her, unlike the guy who's stuck in the friend zone. Number 10. Tell a more personal or flirtatious story. You start subtly introducing the idea of something else. Tell a story about a time someone flirted with you and something funny happened, or point out other people flirting or teasing each other. Don't be vague about it, keeping the sexual subtext in the subtext will make it more attractive. Say something like, now look at Amanda and Robbie. They've been flirting all night. How much do you want to bet he asks her to dance later? Try telling a personal story by saying something like, the last time I was at this bar, the craziest thing happened. I was talking to this girl, well, I don't know if I should tell you. Number 11. Be confident. Confidence is one of the most attractive traits you can have, and it helps speed up sexual tension by letting it out. However, if you don't naturally have confidence, you can still fake it and reap the rewards. Try to take a relaxed stance. Lean on a table, keep your shoulders open, and cross your arms in a confident, almost cocky fashion. Even if it feels too bold, smile and make eye contact. If you are struggling, try pretending to be someone else who is more confident. Choose a celebrity, friend or even stranger you can trust. Do what they think until it feels natural. Put the idea of confidence in your head by repeating to yourself, they are attracted to me, they want me. Even if you don't believe it, it can give you considerable confidence. Number 12. Rejecting the girl in advance. Expecting rejection is something most men out there are used to. I rarely use it, but I cannot share it with you because it can be very useful in stimulating sexual tension. Anticipating rejection consists of rejecting the girl in advance. For example, by telling her, I like you, but we don't really fit. It won't happen to you and me. It will never work between us. It gives the girl's head a potential connection with you while also implying that this connection is not possible. Increasing sexual tension makes her think about sex in a subtle way, which makes her angsty. She is more turned on because someone is always desiring the unattainable, in this case, you. This technique can be quite powerful, but you have to use it correctly. I have seen many men use this method of sex incorrectly. Many guys overuse it and it looks weird. So if you want to use this technique, don't overuse it. Do it at the right time and don't try to use it at all costs. Number 13. Physically rejecting her. That sounds like a pretty strong phrase, but I couldn't find another term to describe this technique. Physical rejection is a combination of the previous technique and physical contact. You put your hand on the girl's shoulder or arm and push her away slightly. A good time to do this is when the girl says something that you might interpret as stupid or unworthy or that you might interpret in a way that puts her out of your league. Ideally, to build sexual tension with a woman. You will push her away with a slight smile on her face so that she feels that you are playing with her. But she will still subconsciously feel that you rejected her. And it will make her more attracted to you.